Hello, I'm Jason Reed, founder of Seedstock. I was the seventh generation to be raised on the same farm in upstate New York. My family has been witness to the massive changes that have taken place in agriculture over the last 200 years. But none of these changes are as profound and as far-reaching as those we will see in this generation. Global population is about to cross the 7 billion mark. By 2050, there will be 9 billion human beings. That increase in population combined with increasing wealth in the developing world means that we will see a 70% increase in global demand for food over the next 40 years. At the same time, the amount of land available for agriculture is shrinking. The costs of non-renewable resources like phosphorus and fossil fuels are going up and there is an increasing awareness on the part of producers, consumers, and farmers that the techniques used to grow, transport, and store the food we eat have an impact on our health and, in, and on the health of the environment. History shows us time and again that when people do not know how they will feed themselves and their families, social unrest, starvation, and disease can have a devastating impact. So the question is, how do we grow more food for more people using less land and with fewer, more sustainable resources? At Seedstock, we believe the key to finding these solutions is to start a conversation that brings together the five pillars of agricultural innovation. Farmers, researchers, entrepreneurs, investors, and the nonprofit sector. So that together we can develop the new technologies, new business models, and new approaches to agriculture that will help us secure our food supply for future generations. Our first step has been to start the information website Seedstock.com that promotes individuals, institutions, and companies that are doing innovative thinking about sustainable agriculture. We are also using the power of social media like Twitter and Facebook to connect concerned people and to start a conversation about potential solutions. In our next phase, we are expanding the conversation into the real world with a series of seed stock events that bring students, entrepreneurs, and other professionals together to discuss the challenges faced by modern agriculture. If you are not able to attend these events, don't worry. We're going to make them available online so that everybody can take part in the conversation. So, thank you for watching, and I hope that you continue to visit the website and watch our videos, and I encourage you to participate, whether that be in person at one of our events, or online, or by starting a conversation in your own community about how we can work to secure a more abundant future for all of us. Thanks again.